Britain is preparing for a momentous occasion as it's rolling out Pfizer and BioNTech's COVID-19 vaccines from Tuesday, becoming the first country to do so. Our Kim Hyo-san has more on this and tells us where other countries stand in their vaccine plans. The UK is preparing to become the world's first country to roll out COVID-19 vaccines following the emergency approval granted for those developed by Pfizer and BioNTech. The first doses are set to be administered on Tuesday, with the National Health Service giving top priority to senior citizens over the age of 80, frontline healthcare workers, and care home staff and residents. Local reports say Queen Elizabeth and Prince Philip may be among the first to get the shots. Britain has ordered 40 million doses, as each person requires two doses that would be sufficient to vaccinate 20 million people in the country of 67 million. About 800,000 doses are expected to be available within the first week. In order to make sure the vaccines which are being developed in Belgium arrive safely, Britain is flying them over in military aircrafts. This comes as the effects of Brexit on the country's trade, as well as its capacity to import and export, may disrupt the distribution process. Against such a backdrop, German Chancellor Angela Merkel explained that Germany is also preparing a vaccination program, adding that the first vaccine approvals within the EU could happen at the end of December. She added that 70 million doses are expected to be delivered in the first quarter of next year, but stressed that this will not be enough for its total population. It looks like the U.S. is facing confusion as only 35 to 40 million vaccines can be delivered immediately before the end of this year, contrary to some 300 million doses the Trump administration originally promised. Meanwhile, Bahrain has become the second country to grant emergency use authorization for the Pfizer and BioNTech vaccine. The country also approved Sinopharm's vaccine last month for use by frontline workers. Kim Yo-san. Arirang News.